Welcome back to The Lemon Factor. I'm Chad, and today we are going to do our next modification on our project car, the 2019 Mazda Miata MX-5 RF. And what are we gonna do? I am going to attempt to install vinyl racing stripes on the car. And I say attempt because I have never done this before. So this is not labeled as a how-to. I don't know how good or bad this is gonna turn out, but if you're interested in installing stripes on your car, you wanna see how easy it might be. If you're considering having someone else install the stripes on your car, and you just wanna see how it looks on the Mazda Miata, or if you're just looking to see how badly I screw this up, then stay tuned. I would have never thought I'd do this in the past. I thought stripes like this looked a little tacky, wasn't really into it. However, I've seen a couple, not a lot, but a couple Mazda Miatas with racing stripes. And I have to say, I think this body style, especially the RF, looks really good in racing stripes. I'm surprised I'm even attempting to do this because if you've seen some of my most recent videos, one of which I installed a window chrome delete, which is actually just dark black, gloss black vinyl wrap over the chrome on our other project car, the 2019 Honda Accord 2.0 Touring. Initially, I had a lot of problems handling the material and installing the material, and then I got the hang of it. I'm pretty excited how that turned out. So I'm gonna take this a step further and see how difficult it is to install racing strike on the Mazda Miata. And if this goes well, who knows, maybe I'll, I'll up it from there and, and keep working with some of the vinyl. So what type of product am I going to use? Uh, there are no, numerous manufacturers out there, including 3M, Vivid, Avery Dennison, and Azotec. And when I did search, I was trying to get something that's at least 24 inches and then something that was at least 50 inches long so it could at least fit the hood without having to cut it. And I simply went on Amazon, searched some of the colors I was interested in, and wrap that I'm using is Avery Dennison SW900 Supreme Wrap. And I've decided to go with a satin white. But the good thing is, if this doesn't turn out so well, or if I don't like the color, I can just pull this vinyl wrap up. So, so why don't we get started? And the first thing we need to decide is what type of stripes are we installing? What pattern? How thick? I can do a single stripe up the middle. I can do a single stripe on one of the sides. We can do double stripes. We can do a quad stripe. I don't know if that's actually what you call it, but two main larger stripes and then two smaller stripes on the other side. And I think that's what I'm going to do. I'm not sure if I'm gonna like the quad stripe. However, I believe if I install that now and go through the effort, if I don't like it, I can simply pull up the smaller stripes on either end. So the first thing I want to do is get the center of the car and start doing some measurements. So what I've done so far was just do a rough sketch of the car itself. So what I think I'm going to do is leave the center space as about four inches. So we'll have four inches of gray right here. I'll have my white stripes on either side of that and those will be about five inches. I will have one and a half inch of gray before the one and a half inch of the accent uh, white stripe on the side. And the reason for the one and a half inches is simply because I'm going to be using masking tape that is roughly one and a half inches. If you wanted it wider, get wider masking tape. If you want it thinner, you can get thinner masking tape. Hopefully that looks good. I also think that the lines overall those dimensions, if you add them up, is roughly 20 inches. I like the lines of how the hood comes in from the headlights to the front bumper, and I'd consider them stopping about here if they were to continue their, their course. And if you measure that, that is roughly 20 inches. Next step is I will find the center. Hopefully the center is lined up right with the Mazda logo here. And then I'm gonna put some masking tape just to measure out my measurements here. Uh, to get the pattern in place. So I did my measurements to find my center point. I actually used the edge of the hood here 
the edge of the hood here, found my center point, marked it with this masking tape. And then because I know I want this center to stay the machine gray, the body color, the color, and my stripes to start from there onward, I took two inches, so this will be four inches width, two inches either way, and marked where the start of my two satin white vinyl stripes will be. I brought that down here. And by the way, the center of the hood, this is centered with the Mazda emblem. This is where the two stripes will start. So as we bring this across, it will um, intersect with the emblem slightly, but at least the edge actually will be embedded uh, into the emblem so that I don't have to tuck in and it'll look like it's uh, seamless with the emblem itself. I did the same thing up top. So now I have a point from the top of the hood to the bottom of the hood and bottom of the bumper here. My next step is I'm gonna use this 3M design line knifeless tape. So what this is, is, and again, I, I'm an amateur, I've never used this stuff, so if it sounds like I know what I'm talking about, um, no, I just did a little bit of research. But looking at it earlier, it, is, it looks like fishing line. It's not as thick as fishing line, but the whole idea of this is if you have vinyl wrap on a part of your car where you need to cut it out, but yet the body panel is right behind it, of course you run the risk of cutting in to the paint itself. And what this is, is, is tacky. You lay this down as a line and there's a filament within here that you pull up and that filament as you drag it across the vinyl should nicely cut the vinyl itself. I am going to extend my lines from the front all the way to the back. That'll create a nice straight line. And I will do that for each one of the segments for my stripes. So, so it took a little bit of time, a lot of meticulous measurements, uh, but I have the hood completed as far as laying out the masking tape and the 3M tri-line. So I actually use this more of measurements. I'm gonna go ahead and remove at least this one. We need to remove it so that when we lay our vinyl, it can adhere to this. But again, I use that so that I had a nice straight line. So yesterday I did thoroughly clean the car and you want to make sure that there's no contaminants. But with that said, I will still clean this a little bit more. I'm going to use some isopropyl alcohol and a nice clean lint-free cloth and wipe this down the entire area. Make sure that it's thoroughly clean, that there's no wax or polish on it. And then we'll uh, proceed with laying the vinyl on top. So the next step is to lay out your vinyl wrap. I do have my felt tipped squeegee. This will be used to help smooth things out, get out the wrinkles. So I'm gonna work my, my way from the center outward. You're probably going to see some creases, uh, some bubbles. That's in the areas that we're going to be pulling off. But for all the spots where we actually have our stripes, everything looks good except one spot. So I use the heat gun. What's nice about this film is that as you are smoothing it out, if you find that you have creases, you lift it up, you try again. In a couple instances, though, the crease seems to stay in the wrap itself and what I have is a heat gun and I bought this vivid uh, heat gun specifically for vinyl wrap and it works really well all you need is a little quick passes of this heat gun over the creases and it will take out the crease in a spot down near the bumper held the heat gun to the vinyl for too long and it didn't melt but it did discolor so make sure you're cautious with using that heat gun don't keep it in one spot too long With this 3M tape, there is a filament in the middle and the green piece is just the sticky piece that you lay 
down the filament with. What you need to do is pinch the filament, tug it quite quickly for it to break through and start separating your the green sticky part, like you can see here. Pull along at a 45 degree angle or more, or less, I should say. And it worked out great. The hardest part was just to get the filament to start cutting through itself. Um, once I did that, cutting through the vinyl was really no problem. So I'm having a really hard time doing it per the instructions. So what I've been doing is, right or wrong, again, I'm an amateur, is with my razor blade starting a relief cut, cut it up so I've already split, the, split it through here. Use my razor blade to pick out the filament, grab it a little bit, and then do the quick tug. I gotta say, this is a real pain in the ass trying to break the filament free. I'm spending so much time on each one of these, finally getting it just to the point where I can start cutting through the vinyl. But I... So now, just a reminder, now that we get the filament out, here it is, we still have the green holders that are in place that we have to remove too. So go ahead and remove this piece. So this is the outer piece, this is just extra. You don't need this. And this is gonna, as you can see, pull up the edges of our stripe. So we'll just have to smooth that down. Remember there's two here because we split the, the holder in half to pull the filament out. Crease it here, get it tucked under, and then I'll line up my razor blade just so that the edge of the razor blade is pushed up against this and I'll just cut that off and I'll tuck it in. And it's just that easy and then we'll just tuck it in under the hood. And that's it. So there you go. I'm pretty excited about it. However, I have to tell you that this was a lot more work than I thought it would be. This has taken me hours and as you can see, all I've done was the hood and the front bumper. I struggled a little bit with trimming where the emblem is. And on the right side, I kind of just hacked it up just because I knew I was gonna replace that piece. I still have more to do. So I have to finish the top. I gotta to finish the back. There's a lot of work to do. I think I'm gonna save it for another day. Thank you for joining me today. Let me know what you thought. And until next time. Thank you.